Okay, so now, let's get to the bail. This is the part that took me forever to come up with a technique for the bail. So I'll show you how I do it. Everybody's got their own way. Here's my way. You would not believe the contraptions that I came up with to, to make a bale. Little jigs and stuff to get the bale, hold the bale upright, and then slide the thing in, and then heat it up. And eventually, here's what I came up with. I saw somebody do this online. I take a, like a cheap pair of bent nose pliers. I hold it at the very top with the little, um, you know, like closed edge here. And take the flux and I put a little dip right there. And I put a little flux on the little um, blob of solder there. So I hold that closed. I have not, I've had, I use these little hemo studs, but I don't have that much luck with that. I have better luck actually holding it closed and having to apply pressure than, I have not had to luck with these. Okay, so that's kind of a big blob, but anyway. So, uh, let's see if you can see that. Now let's get in close on this. Okay, now you're going to see the genius of my system. Okay, here's how I do it. Prepare to be amazed. I hope this works. Okay, so I'm going to hold this like this, and I'm going to heat, heat up that little blob, and then I'm going to shove this little thing in, and, and wait for the little blob to harden up, okay? So I'm going to heat this up, heat up the blob, heat the blob, heat the blob. Uh-oh. you got to have that. Heat the blob and shove that in. And then just hold it upright. Push this around. You can always come back and kind of make it look a little better. But the main thing is, is to get it pushed down as far as you can. Then you gotta wait, you gotta watch the metal and just watch it until you can tell that it's hardened, which means it just loses its super shininess and it gets a dullness to it, which means that it's hardened. Then I kinda go back and kinda smooth, push it up around the sides. As long, as long as it's straight, you gotta check both sides and make sure it looks, um, you know, head on on both sides that it looks upright because uh, it can look straight on one side and then you turn over on the other side and it looks crooked. So bring this up here. I think I'm going to add, take your flux, add it in, be, in here. And some of this, add a little more of this to, you know, give it a little more strength. This has got to be like really firmly, you don't want anything tippy when you're doing this kind of stuff. It's got to be like really sturdy. That's not sturdy. It's tippy. I it. I don't want anything tippy. What's going on here? Alright, that's kind of good. Is that in the picture? Okay, so then I'll just give it one of these. That you can have it all perfect, and you go back to do something like this, and destroy it. Then it just melts, it falls over, or something like that. So I hope that doesn't do it here, but if it does, then you'll, it'll just be a good example what not to do. So, yeah. Come on, get in there. It'll just fold over if you... You have it all perfect, and then all of a sudden you're at this point, and you get a little too much heat and a little too much solder there, and the bell just folds over. And that just makes you crazy. I'm pushing my luck. It looks sloppy. There's too much stuff. You can't get too much solder there, or else it's, it just gets. There's too much to melt, and then you can't control it. It's too hot. I think. It, come 
Oh, what's going on here? I turned it down too much. Come on, I don't have time for this. I cannot be spending this much time on one stupid necklace. See why I don't sell these? There. Anyone wondering why I don't want to make these anymore? Here's your answer. Would you do this for $20? Hell no. No. No, no, no. But you would do it for someone that you like. I mean, really. I wouldn't do this for $50. But I would do it because it's fun. Come on. It's probably $20 in material, for God's sakes. Do not make these for money. Or you're going to be very poor. <laughs> Unless you're going to charge a hundred dollars. I don't know. Other people must work a lot quicker than me. But, uh, okay, so now it's like reaching some kind of saturation point where it won't even grab. It needs flux, I guess. But see how, like, take a look at that. Here's where you get to the point where you've just gone too far. You need to leave it alone. I don't know. Can I, I can bring this out? This is a good... Okay, look at this. This is a good example of when you should have just stopped. Okay. <laughs> I need to add some flux there. Okay. You should just leave well enough alone. Don't you think? I can't talk and sell her at the same time. Anyway, the people who are able to make these and sell them for 20 or $25... All I can think of is they must just, like, just cut pictures out, like, in mass, slap them together, and just, like, do it like an assembly line. Because I don't know how you can, I don't know how you can do this in a, like, uh, you know, artistic way, or I don't know how you can be artistically expedient. <laughs> I don't, is there such a thing? It doesn't sound fun. And I thought art was supposed to be, I don't know. I don't think art was supposed to be rushed. Can you, you can't rush art. Now that's pretty. I would wear that. See how like nice and round it is? It's a little bit chunky, but I kind of liked it when it looked like a stick. I think the bottom still looks like a stick. No, it doesn't look like a branch anymore. Why? The bottom looks like a branch. Stick-like. Oh, that's messy. That needs to be clean up. What can I do for you, Miss Kitty? I'm sorry to inform you. I don't have anything you want. Uh-oh. See? Uh-oh. What? Listen. Go find a little boyfriend and get your groove on. I can't help you. I can't help you, ma'am. Go get your groove on. Okay, I think it's finished. It's a pretty skinny little edge, but I don't know what I can do about it now. I think the, the copper was just too thin there. I might try to add a little bit. Let's see what happens. Just for fun. Just because I just can't stop myself. I know I shouldn't. I know I shouldn't. I should just leave it alone, but I can't do it. I've just got to keep messing with it. To try to add, make it a little more substantial right here is what I'm going to try to do. Right on that little edge, I'm going to try to make it a little more substantial. Then I'm going to leave it alone. But I'm telling you, when it's you, don't do it. Leave it alone is my advice. My advice to you in this situation would be to leave it alone. It's good enough. You're going to mess it up. Just leave it alone. You're going to regret it.
kitty. I got nothing. I can't do anything for you. Oh, oh it's not bad. It's not bad. Outside, kitty cat. They're waiting for you outside. Why don't you go see them? Native box. Oh, Jesus, just leave her alone for God's sakes. It's too late now. Why is that little side so skinny? How did this happen? I need. Okay, I can be able to see what I'm doing because I'm holding it funny. Oh, this isn't bad. Why don't you look? Gravity also has an effect on how the solder flows, so you can actually use it to your advantage, depending on how you hold the thing. So, I don't know if I'm going to, I could put a little drop right there if I wanted a dangly thing, but I'm not sure I'm going to put a dangly thing. Be just fine. I think I'm gonna mess it up. Stop messing up. I can't that enough. Whoa! Did you see that? Crazy. That is crazy. It's like it is like uh, mercury. I think that's fine. I don't like that edge there, but I don't know what I can do about it. It's skimpy. I don't know. I don't think I can fix it. It's getting... I'm really pushing my luck here that I haven't, just, I haven't ruined it already. I'm really, really, really pushing my luck. Maybe I could clean it up a little bit. this with a little bit of rubbing alcohol. It kind of gives you a second chance maybe to clean it with rubbing alcohol. Gets all the impurities off and then you might be able to go back over. I think I'm just going to stop. I think I've pushed my luck far enough. Plus I really like these little images. I don't want to mess this one up and have to do the whole alcohol ink again. It's not all that hot, really. recording this really long. I should stop it and start it. 